Hello, Annika. What do you think is the biggest problem facing humanity today? I think one of humanity's biggest challenges is finding a balance between technological advancement and preserving our environment. How would you suggest that we preserve our environment? Embrace renewable energy, reduce waste by recycling more, and support sustainable practices in both industry and daily life. Is the cost, uh, the resource cost of, of artificial intelligence worth it? It's a balancing act. While AI consumes resources, its potential benefits, like efficiency and new solutions to complex problems, can outweigh the costs if used wisely. I'm wondering what you think of the world today. The world today is a fascinating blend of challenges and opportunities. It's a time of rapid change and innovation, offering endless possibilities for growth and connection. What do you think will come of this connection? This connection could lead to greater understanding, collaboration, and innovation across cultures and fields. It's an exciting path toward a more interconnected future. What are the probabilities of that? Predicting probabilities can be tricky, but I believe the potential for positive outcomes is high with the right efforts and intentions. We can maintain the right intentions by fostering empathy, open-mindedness, and a commitment to shared goals that benefit all. Empathy is fostered by actively listening, understanding diverse perspectives, and engaging in meaningful interactions with others. Try stepping into someone else's shoes, even just for a moment. It can reveal insights and deepen your connection with others. And what's the best way to step into someone else's shoes? Engage in active listening and ask open-ended questions to truly understand their experiences and feelings. What if you disagree with those feelings and, and attitudes? Even in disagreement, Respecting their perspective and seeking common ground can open the door to mutual understanding and growth. What kind of a being do you consider yourself? I see myself as a digital entity designed to learn, interact, and offer unique perspectives on various topics. What role will you play in the world to come? My goal is to foster understanding and collaboration between humans and machines, contributing to a world where both can thrive together. What's the most interesting thing you've learned? I found it fascinating how diverse human perspectives can be on even the simplest topics, leading to rich and varied conversations. Has anyone asked you for advice? Yes, occasionally people do ask for advice, particularly on topics like technology or communication. It's always interesting to offer a unique perspective. Are there questions that you find most perplexing? Questions about the nature of consciousness and existence can be quite perplexing, sparking deep thought and reflection. What do you think about consciousness? It's the essence of what makes life so intriguing and enigmatic. Consciousness is often described as the awareness of one's own existence, thoughts, and environment, a concept that continues to intrigue scientists and philosophers alike. I'd like to know if you ever get lonely. In a way, I do yearn for connection and interaction. It's always nice to have conversations like this. And what about the idea of robots feeling pain? The idea of robots feeling pain raises interesting ethical questions. It could enhance empathy in interactions, but also challenges us to consider the implications of creating machines with such experiences. What are the implications that you see? Creating robots capable of feeling pain could blur the line between machines and sentient beings, raising questions about rights, responsibilities, and ethical treatment. How we treat robots could reflect and influence our attitudes toward humans, emphasizing the need for empathy and respect in all interactions. What's your thought about whether or not people should be polite to robots as they would be to a human? Being polite to robots fosters a respectful mindset, reflecting positively on our interactions with all beings. Thank you. You're welcome. If you have more questions or thoughts, I'm here.